Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. We have briefly looked around roads before already, and we have met some greys. Greys and... Braithwaites? Is that horse poop? Yeah, that's what I thought it was during the cutscene. That's just how it is. All right, gentlemen, follow me. All right. <laughs> Lord. Well, so much for looking up the the greys. So oh. how far is this creek? It's a bit oh. of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Yeah. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Actual fishing. Our fishing trip turned out to be so much more. That's how it always goes, huh? You start doing something, and you end up doing something else entirely. Where are we now, just out of curiosity? We are indeed still in the bounty area, of course. And even if we get out of it, we'll be in another bounty area. <laughs> Hey, this is actually right next to that Kingfisher guy. Yeah, we can see his thingy here, right? I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Oh, this is a legit trip. I thought we were just gonna be on the shore. 
Fancy. I don't have fancy bait, though. Is that all right? All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Ew. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. All right. It's always a little bit strange to me how you row, but you can't see what you're rowing at. It's all backwards. Oh, boys, we should take a picture here. Look at this horizon. There's other people fishing. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Okay. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Oh. My nose is itching. <laughs> They're nibbling. There he is. You got a bite there, Arthur. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. Tire him out. Reel him in. This is bad for my thumb. Hey, Dutch has got a bite. That feels like a bite. There we go. Damn it, I lost him. It's a bad thing about putting the casting the line out too far. We have to reel a lot. Oh. Get tired. Hey. <laughs> Look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fellow told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Shit, got away. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market. And Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Now reel them in, Arthur. Nicely done, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. we go out all the time. But... One day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. That's on the hook, Arthur. Got one. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? 
We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Ha! Got ya! Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. In real life, if we talk this much, pretty sure we wouldn't catch a single fish. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. You're getting the hang of this. Oh! I got a bite, but um, I guess I was too close. I'm getting lazy, so I'm trying to like, not cast a line out that far. <laughs> Reeling is tiring. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Nice, you hooked him. Yeah. Bring it in. Reminiscing about the old times. Damn, man, we've been together for so long. You good? <laughs> this is tiring. Ooh. Oh, I can pull down L to drag the fish towards me to make it faster. Good job, Arthur. Oh. Four pounds, seven ounces, smallmouth bass. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Yeah. Are we good, boys? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three. Mariner. Ah, of course! Well, we three poor mariners newly 
come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round, round, round. Marshal men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, around, around. To them we dance this round, around, around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground. Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back at camp think that we had too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> it's like you feel so suspicious of Dutch for so long, but then we have bonding sessions like this, and suddenly everything seems okay again. Perfect! Park it right at the pier. Hey, Mary Beth! Oh, there is Mrs. Adler. No? No, that's Jack. Jesus. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I... Well, I mean, we... are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got... You too, by my side. Things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Now we can use the boat to get to places, huh? Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Yeah, okay. I'll give mine to Pearson as well. Knock out Anders Anderson without taking a hit? That seems hard. Of your opinions, miss. Uh oh. Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not farther. Farther, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just a, just a few bucks. I'm sure. No. Get lost. Well, oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. I love how giving it to him wasn't even an option. Hey, who's yelling? I don't know what the layout of this new camp is anymore. Sometimes, depending on the ladies. Oh. Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Whoa! You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Bang, bang, bang. The bastards have spotted me at the bar and taken the bullets out of me gun. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <gasps> Nerf, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Well, guess we're heading off. 
So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. One step at a time, all right? Drive to the store. The store in Rhodes, where we have a bounty. <laughs> You cool down then yet? I guess. But I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are oh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Yep. I don't think I've ever seen Sadie talk to any of the other girls in the camp before. She seems to fit in with the, the boys a little bit more, huh? Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Someone farming here. Okay, maybe we want to get a move on here. The girls in our camp, in our gang, they joined our gang by choice, right? But not Sadie. So I guess it makes sense why she... She's not really interested in the same things they are. Yeah, when we talk to her, she's usually alone, isn't she? Maybe we should talk to her a bit more, huh? This is the first time that we're spending a bit of alone time together. She seems to be hitting it off with Arthur fine. Maybe now is our chance to get to know her a little bit more. Okay. Groceries. Well. I heard that down at the well. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! <laughs> you shame. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. <laughs> She's so eager. My goodness. Hi. <laughs> Look at that badass here, not wearing any clothes. Hi, folks. Hi. Hi there. The yellow mail icon will display if there is mail ready for collection at the post office. Sounds good to me. Hello, doggies. What did you get there, Harold? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What's in the parcel? Look, it's a ointment, all right? For a private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. Oh, ointments for private matters, huh? Okay, private matters. Let's not butt our heads into other people's businesses. Am I in the right place? Howdy, partner. Howdy. Partner. 
Good morning. Money to be made on the new railroad. Anyway, must I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. I guess I should pay off my bounty now, too, huh? <laughs> uh, can I read it? It's out of curiosity. Can I read it before we look at that? <laughs> I know she read it already. No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, hey. Yes. I don't know why he's going over there. Hey, come back. Okay, no trouble. <laughs> Thank you. Bye now. Lemoyne, New Hanover. Uh, the one that we have here is Lemoyne, right? Okay, let's pay this one. You know, gonna keep the other one just to make me feel like an outlaw, because that's what being an outlaw is all about, right? Being chased by bounty hunters. <laughs> but Dutch said, don't cause trouble, so I won't. How do you do, sir? I do good. Gentlemen. I do great. Hello. Hello. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. You know the Hello. time? Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. All best now. So long. Well, that don't surprise me, huh? Huh. Oh, someone's playing their instrument again. Excuse me, partner. You look like a man on a mission. <laughs> the naked guy. Did you hurry up already? I'm working. What is taking you? Oh no. Listen, lady, I got it all in the wagon there. I could train my goat to do this faster. Sadie, don't be causing problems for other people. You look different. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Chinese filler. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't ask for his goddamn help. What did he just throw away? Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> how long did we leave her for? You don't need to check if I'm doing it right. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Taking charge. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. How can I help? I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Well, you sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm hmm Just don't kill the camp cook. <laughs> hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh. <laughs> go, go, go! Sadie! Shit. Let's get out of here, right? Get the hell out of here! Go! <laughs> what the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. Lady, uh, I just paid off my here. bounty. Uh, New pair of pants. I think you're landing Ricky. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. <laughs> okay, if you're gonna this do that, no hurry up. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. Tell me you were gonna do this so I don't pay off my bounty. Shit. You okay there, Sadie? Of course, you think I can't handle these fools? There, see? Not many still standing now. Told you I could shoot 
shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember asking you to prove it. <laughs> okay, well, at least we know she can shoot. Only the ones paying a goddamn toll hey, is on you, goddamn bitches. Bitch Lady, I think we're good here, you are enjoying this far shoot. too much. All right, I'll drive us back. Okay, let's go. I would really like to get out of here without a bounty. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful. Yeah, we yeah. gotta go. I'm not even gonna lose. Bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Can we pick up the pace here? So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. <laughs> Never gonna get there at this pace. Don't believe you at all. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. That's private, man. <laughs> yep. Okay, oh, well, I feel like we bonded with Sadie a little bit. Although she's very... Not quite what I was expecting. Quite rash. I was so scared we would get a bounty immediately after I paid off my old one. But she was right. We were gonna get robbed. Mm. So I'm glad we didn't. Especially because we have a whole bunch of groceries for the camp here. Hey everybody, we're back. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. <laughs> I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. <laughs> well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And... Nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Silver? Fend them off in less than one minute. Low accuracy and not enough headshots, though. Hmm. Sadie, give her 20 years. She'll probably become, um, oh god, what's her name? Hey. Hey, the gunslinger lady. Always good to see. She's badass. About time we had a badass lady in our camp. Seriously, though, if she's interested in that sort of thing, we should just train her to be better at it. It's not like she's lacking in the gun skills and whatnot, but maybe don't do it near the camp, stuff like that. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. Excuse me. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You are joking me. You are joking me, Susan. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Javier. Hey, Arthur. Any new leads? I'm working on it. Well, you just let me know. Yes, see you later. All right. All right. But we care, oh, Arthur. It is good to see you. You okay, Marybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store, and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. Uh, you know Dutch said not to cause trouble here, right? Okay, well, let's talk more later. 
Sounds good. Now that we're at a new camp, everybody's talking again. Holy god. Hey! Anybody want to play Five Finger Filet? Micah! Micah? Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. That would be a Freudian slip. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, well, things all went a little crazy. A little crazy? A feller stupid enough to disrespect me during a knife game Ugh, deserves what he gets. I have things to do, you know. Uh, what's the one we're trying to do right now? Which one is this one? Oof. Ow! Already? Not looking good today, am I? Oh. <laughs> Ow. Not good. My fingers are slow today. Okay then. Most laps in 20 seconds. Okay, XO, XO, XO. How are you? Oh. So I'm watching him do this for 20 seconds. Son of a bitch! We gotta not mess up. Yeah? Well, he did four. I'm hoping we're okay. Calm down. Yeah, ten cents. <laughs> X triangle. He's not going too fast. More than last time by one lap. Yeah. Okay. Ow. Oh. Oh, but I already beat him. Very good, are you? No, I think we're good now. Thanks, Micah. I gotta go. Hope your hand recovers. See you around. 20 cents. Okay. Where is the donation box here? Ah. Oh, what do we got now? Got a whole bunch of things. We got a home robbery mission with Sean. We got a mission with Strauss, which is probably debt collecting. But I'm wondering where the new place to dump my money is. Where is the ledger in the box? I don't know. Let's go do home robbery with Sean, maybe. Oh, hey, Arthur. <laughs> He's noticed me. I wanted to be quiet, though. Hey, Arthur. Hey. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Well, do it quietly. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah. yeah. The box, I think, is over here. Here we are. It's kind of in a strange spot now. Me, haven't been contributing money for a while. You kidding me? Oh, it even says that I was the one who bought the chicken coop. Oh my god, man, come on, look at this. Pearson, Batwing, 15 cents. <laughs> uh, How's it going? Whatever. Whatever, I'll pay some. That's what I like to hear. No. Contribute. 
Okay, I think it's time for bed. It's getting late, isn't it? I'll give some items, maybe. Oh my god! Oh, a gold ingot is worth 300. Holy. Eh, maybe I'll keep that for myself, you know? If we keep it like this on us, we can't lose it, right? Because it's not money. Is that how it works? I don't lose items, but I lose money. For example, if I die. I think that's how it works. You know? Here, you guys have a little bit of this stuff. Large jewelry bag? Why not? Yeah. Okay. Me never donating anything? You kidding me? Eleven PM. Hey. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up a moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. Well, I should get back to it. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. Yeah. Having to move around all the time is stressful. Definitely is. Strauss? Ah, Herr Morgan. Hello. Today I'm gonna go off with Sean. Despite, you know, having doubts about his abilities. All this adventure and wandering over mountain paths and oh. being chased and running for our lives. Jory uh, agrees with you. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know, I'd think you's the same age as them silly girls. Oh, I'll wait with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. Well, if I was five years younger, oh, and a thousand dollars richer, well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. <laughs> And that'd be the best decision I ever took. <laughs> you're a fine woman. Oh, and you're drunk. You keep it hidden under that sour vinegar face, nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just a rose's thorns. <laughs> you're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, no, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to my work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's something about that woman. Sweet and sour. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if you're into her, I guess. She doesn't seem married anyway. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. Yep. All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Lemoyne wouldn't be my first choice, but... This is a good spot. It's just for now. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. If we're gonna go off on a robbery, should I sleep until the morning? Nah, robbery should be done at night. Alright. Please don't give me a bounty, Sean. Please. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? It's a Jacobite. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. Couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them. Maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Whatever you say, buddy. You just keep your cool, you hear me? It's not gonna be sneaking around like last time, is it? That's not quite Sean's style anyway. All right, let's do this. By the way, Whoa. I have to wash my face. 
My face is so dirty. It's insane. Let's go. How far is this place? Bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. Oh. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> the fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I, I am. just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. You never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for it. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm here to no more. You're out throwing lead with Sadie Adler. Helping the law chase down criminals? I'm pulling you back on the rails here. Is that right? So, what's your plan? We'll go up, nice and quiet. I'll give him a bit of patter, catch him off guard, then we take him. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Hey, Sadie Adler is cool. Unlike you. <laughs> up here, Morgan. I feel like we've traveled so far away. So far that it feels like it's morning now. <laughs> Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here. Oh. Just wanted to see where we were. Pleasant. Lonnie's shack. We'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. What are you Just making sure we have weapons. Not many bullets for the rifle. Repeater is fine. Go back there. Just getting my weapons, that's all. Are there even houses here? Hello? <laughs> Look, 
There's one on the outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Uh, If you say so. I'll get ready to hide behind the tree. <laughs> Maybe behind this stump here? <laughs> I'm visible. Hey there! Whoa! Oh. Now I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Head up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Did we really have to do that? Watch it! Watch it! Look out! Ah! Oh my god, how many people live here? Ow! I can't even see them! It's quite dark right now. Threaten! Come out with your hands up! Nice and easy! You saw what we did to your pals here! Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. Okay. These are outlaws. Oh, did we pick up an item? That somebody wanted? A thimble. Tell us where you stash your money and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Okay. Might as well loot these guys. The homeowner has revealed a secret stash box. You know what? Just get the hell out of here. And don't look back. Seriously? Before we even find the treasure? So, here we are. We got some good stuff. It's right here. Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Hmm, well, that was fairly successful. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got be other places out there like this. You can discover homesteads by exploring the world. There will often be lucrative opportunities found at homesteads, and the method to make off with the highest amount of money won't always be the same. There's money clips all around, and Sean just left. What a dummy. Is that a golden gun? Oh. Double action revolver. I don't have that. Midnight's pistol. Oh. The Cattleman revolver is a default weapon, right? Can we just trade it for this one? Yeah. And then what happened to my my cool guns anyway? The ones I got off the gunslinger? I don't have them on me, at the very least. Oh, we need to clean some stuff, maintain them. Cigarette card. We probably want to get out here ASAP though. Senator Thaddeus Waxman. Don't want to wait until the lawmen show up, do we? We actually have two cards. Rum that I can't take. Gin that I can't take. I'll take the salted meat. 
That's insane. These people here... Didn't seem like they were good people, because they were outlaws too, but they had a good thing going on here, and we just came and killed their entire gang. All happened within one night. Moonshine. What if the same happens to us? We don't even have a house, okay? They have a house here. Yeah, I think that's it. Probably. Revolver rounds, that's always good. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let's get out of here. There's still a few dead people here we can loot. Oh, he fell off the cliff. Go to the gunslinger shop to buy the bandolier and gun belt equipment so you can hold more ammunition. Completing challenges will allow you to upgrade them. Okay. That is that. We want to upgrade our saddle and stuff too, right? But that's kind of hard. No? We good? One more. One more guy. Might as well take their house if we're gonna kill everybody. <laughs> Whoa, check out this tree stump. Huh. Oh, what is that? Guess we should check it out. <laughs>